involved in putting together the vehicle. So all of that has been something of a moving target, and we'll see whether this deal specifies all of that or simply agrees to agree to something in the future. We really don't know what the president's agreeing to here. I was talking to White House officials just before uh, this event, and they said, you know, we're just not going to get ahead of the president. We're not going to roll out anything in advance. Uh, Reuters is reporting uh, that the president has, has call, called uh, the Mexican president to congratulate him on that deal. Bob, it sounds like you have some thoughts about well, this. Well, I hope that this is some political effort to bring Canada into the agreement, because I hope everyone was listening to Kayla while she was talking, explaining that to do a bilateral agreement, it's a completely separate deal. It would take another 180 days, essentially, to remove uh, Mexico and create a separate deal. NAFTA is a trilateral agreement. So uh, pay attention to Kayla, and I think this is a, a creating a lot more difficulties. And I'm hoping this is just a political game to bring, bring the Canadians yeah. in. And to that point, Kayla, it looks like we've got another headline crossing that the Mexican president is telling President Trump on a call that it's Mexico's wish that Canada now be incorporated into this deal. Uh, yes, and that has been the expectation of how this process would go, despite the semantics of the president that he is renaming this to be simply a U.S.-Mexico deal. Reuters is reporting that Canada is expected to join the talks as soon as today, that the foreign minister of Canada, Christia Freeland, is on her way to Washington and could re-enter an accelerated uh, set of talks that is expected to wrap by the end of this week. We have reached out to the U.S. Trade Representative for confirmation of that, but Reuters is also reporting some specifics about what the content requirement for autos would be. Reuters reporting, according to a senior U.S. trade official, that the deal between U.S. and Mexico would increase U.S. and regional content in cars to 75 percent. That's up from the current requirement of 62 and a half percent. And as to that wage component, this deal, according to Reuters would see 40 to 45 percent of auto content made by workers earning an average base wage of $16 an hour. So the I don't know any of these songs today. Oh my goodness. This is the pop back in the day. The this is a the United flashback States wants to, to keep production from Little Marley the when US she was like for the sake 10. of cheap labor existing in Mexico alone while raising the wage on average for the workers that are producing those vehicles would take away that incentive from those companies. That is a provision that is going to get some pretty swift pushback from automakers who argue that they make cars in Mexico because they sell to a It was shocking because so many people played games like this. Occasionally, I would look cool, but usually, I believe something like this is played in Mexico. Where you could be sitting there in Florida playing with somebody in New York. Thank you. 